Monday to you. Welcome back. I'm Rita Ernst. I am the author of Show Up Positive. But thank you for joining me today for Monday Minute. I am on a mission to make sure that people understand how to use their agency, that they have the ability to create what they want. And the positive sparks are words of inspiration to help you get there. So there are 50 of those in the book. So you'll have a repository of 50 ideas, but I'm bringing you new ideas every week right here on the Monday Minute Show. And today's positive spark is forgiveness. And I'm not going to be telling you something new that you probably haven't heard from 10 other people. Um, forgiveness is a big conversation that is happening. It's happening in the mental health space, and this is mental health awareness month. So it's a good time for us to talk about this. It's happening in the mindfulness space. So people who are really trying to be more mindful in how they show up, um, it is happening in the, in the personal coaching space as well. Forgiveness is a really important concept. So let's talk definition for a minute, because I always think it's important that we share meaning and understanding together. And so the interesting thing about forgiveness is it has a couple of definitions. So one definition of forgiveness is to, is to grant pardon to something. And, um, that is where we often get tripped up, right? We're not ready to pardon somebody when they've done harm to us. However, there is a second definition of forgiveness, which is to give up claim to something, to give up claim to something. I want you to think about that for a minute. And that's the forgiveness we're going to talk about today. So in mindfulness, in mental health, when, when a therapist speaks about forgiveness with a client, what they're talking about is giving up hope that anything can be different, right? So that we are no longer burdened by the resentment that we hold, that we can let it go. So forgiveness is about ourselves. Not a, It's not about pardoning the other person, right? It's about giving up our claim to holding out for something to change and recognizing what is is, is what's past has passed, and rather than being stuck in that place of resentment, I can choose to let it go. And that is a form of forgiveness, right? And what's so interesting about this is that, you know, when we are injured or offended by somebody, I mean, I, mean, I think of this really simple example, my delightful friend, Joy, who now lives in Florida, and I were talking about this very concept that she shared. And that is when somebody cuts you off in traffic, and I mean, like almost takes the bumper off the front of your car, and you're so frustrated, and you're so angry. And of course, you've got all of these endorphin rush going because you're, you have that moment of, of being scared as well. But you know, you have two choices. One is to be like, oh, thank God I didn't get in an accident and move on. And the other is to obsess about that moment. Maybe to spend time yelling out loud, pointing at that person. Maybe you get home, you tell your spouse or your friend, you get on the phone, you talk about what happened. And the more time you spend really focusing on that incident, the more of your mind share you're giving to somebody that you don't like. So think about that. Isn't that such an interesting perspective? Why would you give so much of your mind share, so much of your thinking power to somebody that wronged you? Isn't it better to use your mind share and your thinking power to work on things that are within your span of influence and control, things that you want to create that are going to bring betterment to your life. Because you know what? You're not going to fix what happened. It happened. And um, this is one of the things that really is the key characteristics that defines resiliency. So when we think about all the changes and all the things that go on, the most resilient people are those that are able to take those negative times, that negative space in their life, and emerge from that stronger than ever before. And the reason that they are able to do that is that they do not focus on their circumstances. They do not let their circumstances determine who they are or limit how they can show up. Instead, they choose to be forward focused, right? So 
Um, there's an, a, a conversation. I'm putting snippets out on um, on my my page. So, so take a look for them. But there's a really important conversation from a podcast that I recently did with Tammy Palazzo and Louis Seiko. And the point that Tammy makes is thinking about positivity from the lens of a battery, right? So it's not a good or bad thing, but a positive moves things forward and a negative right pulls things back. So when we use forgiveness in the form of letting go, we are able to put our energy and our mindfulness forward to think about more forward things. And that's what I want for you this week. So the invitation this week is to practice the show up positive spark forgiveness, not by pardoning people, whether or not you think they deserve to be pardoned, but in terms of letting go of the things that are taking up your mind share, your mind space, and actually stealing that away from the things that truly matter to you. Don't let somebody steal from you. They, you know, they've already injured you. Don't let them steal further by holding on to that resentment. Let go of that burden. Choose forgiveness. Understand that you hope that anything is going to be different is not possible. The past is behind you. Let go of it and move forward. So that is your Monday Minute about forgiveness. Please DM me or comment. I would love to hear your feedback about what you think about this show up positive spark. And more importantly, how you're finding value as you're practicing it in your life and in your business. I wish you a fabulous week and thank you again for joining